They are widely known for the infections they cause, but viruses are more than these. Here are 10 important facts that we need to know about them. Number 1. The Latin word virus, which means poison, was proposed by a Dutch microbiologist, Martinus Bejerink, to denote the infective properties of these agents. For a long time, a virus was referred to as contagium vivum fluidum, meaning a contagious fluid, a fully formed virus outside the cell that is able to infect and establish itself in a host is called a virion. Number two, viruses require living host cells such as bacteria, algae, fungi, protozoa, plants, and animals in order to multiply since they do not have all the necessary machineries or molecules to multiply on their own. Viruses invade, take over, and instruct the machinery of their host to make and release new viruses. These poses a significant challenge in the development of antiviral drugs, since drugs that would interfere with the multiplication of viruses would also interfere with the function of their host. In fact, most antiviral drugs block virus replication by targeting the function of host cells. Number 3. As we know, cells are the basic units of living organisms, but viruses are not or do not have cells. Also, because of their inability to survive independently, viruses are considered non-living. However, they are more than the non-living entities because of their ability to direct cellular processes. Thus, Describing them as either active or inactive, rather than living or non-living, is more applicable. We can say that viruses are inactive outside a host, and active only when inside. Number 4. Isolation of viruses that cause the tobacco mosaic disease led to a better understanding of the nature of these agents. Researchers found out that viruses isolated from infected tobacco plants can pass through filters designed to trap bacteria. When the filtrate remained infectious, even though the infectious agents cannot be seen with a microscope. Number five. Viruses are ultramicroscopic and way smaller than other microorganisms like bacteria. In fact, more than 50 million polyviruses could be accommodated by an average human cell. An exception though, are the megaviruses and pandora viruses, which are considered giants in the viral world. These are 20 to 50 times the size of an average virus. Number 6. The general structure and organization of viruses is simple and, in fact, economical. They only possess parts needed to invade and control a host cell such as the information-carrying molecule or nucleic acid, and an external coating called capsid. Other viruses have an additional covering outer to the capsid. Further, the nucleic acid of a virus is either an RNA or a DNA, but not both as seen in some living organisms. While we know that RNA is a single-stranded nucleic acid and DNA is double-stranded, viral RNA may occur as either single or double-stranded and so with the viral DNA. Classification of viruses may be based on their nucleic acids, the type of their capsid, and the presence or absence of envelope. Number 7. Detection and identification of viruses include direct examination with an electron microscope that can magnify the specimen over a million times. Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, that can also be used to amplify a small amount of viral nucleic acids and screen for the presence of antigens and antibodies. Antigens are substances from viruses that induce immune responses, while antibodies are specific proteins produced by an organism's immune system in response to the virus. Number 8. Viruses can also cause certain types of cancer. For instance, nearly all cervical cancers are caused by the human papillomavirus, which is mostly transmitted sexually. The hepatitis B virus was also proven as the cause of some types of liver cancer. In fact, there is a high correlation between previous hepatitis B virus infection and liver cancer. That is, almost all persons who developed liver cancer had previous hepatitis B infection. Number 9. 
Despite being known as destructive pathogens, viruses can be beneficial on the other side. This tulips infection with a mosaic virus caused varying patterns of colors in the petals due to altered development of the plant's cells. Viruses and their potential for use as vehicles for the treatment of infections and genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia have also been studied and are being used in the development of some types of vaccines. Number 10. There are four types of influenza virus, A, B, C, and D. Influenza A, which can be transmitted between animals and humans, is the most common form and is known to cause pandemics. Type B is also common, but transmission is limited between humans. Influenza C cause mild symptoms and are not considered to cause epidemics, while influenza D viruses primarily affect cattle and are not known to infect humans.